Allen. I'm a senior student studying material science engineering at the University of Michigan. This summer I've been working at Professor Tuteja's lab involving superhydrophobic coatings. So how did we solve the problem? Our approach is to divide it into three parts. First, we identify the coding system that can improve abrasion resistance in particular. Second, we incorporate the low surface energy materials to achieve a high degree of hydrophobicity. And third, we conducted a series of experiments optimizing the formulation of coding systems, methods, curing conditions, and other variables that could possibly affect coding durability. To make sure we have control over the thickness and the uniformity of coating, we also develop a spray system. It is built with a syringe pump, spray gun, and a three-axis positioning stage connected to a motion controller. With this system, we are able to achieve a constant flow rate and any desired spray pattern, and spray coating is finished without people being exposed to hazardous coating materials. After coating is fully cured, we perform the taper abrasion test to determine its resistance to abrasion. <music> 